Next, let's create our link component. So going to assemble and selecting new component. And the name for this one is link. The parent, of course, is our box pivot. And selecting activate, hitting OK. Next, I'd like to turn off the visibility of our box pivot. So left click. And I'm going to go to front view. I'm going to hit L to grab our line tool and select this plane. So take note, I am in the front view. And instead of creating a line, I'm going to hit R instead to grab our rectangle and making sure that it is center rectangle. Dropping our center point at the origin. And now the first dimension is 12. As you can see in our drawing, the radius is 6. So multiplied to 2 is 12, hitting tab. And I'd like the length to be 94. Hitting enter. Next, hitting C to create a circle and dropping our center point at the midpoint. And left click here. Next, I'm going to hit C to create another circle. So left click at the center point. Diameter for this one is 6. Hitting enter. And from here, we're going to hit E to grab our extrude tool, selecting this profile, this profile, and this profile. For direction, selecting symmetric. Measurement to be whole length. And the distance to be 14. Operation, new body, and hit OK. And turning off the visibility of our sketch 1. Next, hitting R to grab our rectangle. Selecting our XZ plane, left click. So dropping our first corner here. I will not input any value for now. I'm going to left click and hit L to create a line. But first, I'm going to slice this one. So locating the midpoint of this vertical line, left click. Moving to our origin, left click, hitting escape, selecting this line, right click and select horizontal vertical, reselecting this line and selecting normal construction. Next, hitting D to grab our dimension tool and selecting this line and this edge, dropping our dimension here. I'm going to key in 3.5, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit P for project to locate the edge of this curve feature. So left click and hit OK. Next, heading to our sketch palette and under constraints, selecting horizontal vertical. Selecting this projected point and this point, hitting escape. Zooming in, inspecting, and hitting D to grab our dimension tool, selecting this point and this vertical line, dropping our dimension here, keying in 20, hitting enter, and hitting E to grab extrude tool, left click this one, going to home view, dragging this one up, direction to be two sides, Side 1, extent to be all, same with side 2, all. Operation, cut, and hit OK. Going to our home view, and hitting L to grab our line tool. Selecting this plane, and dropping our first point at this intersection. Holding my left mouse button to create an arc, release, and left click here. Hitting escape. Selecting this line, right click, and select horizontal vertical. Next, going to our constraints, selecting horizontal vertical once more. Selecting this center point and our origin. Hitting D 
to grab our dimension, selecting this arc, dropping our dimension here, keying in 4, hitting enter. Next, hitting C to grab our circle and keying in 4, hitting enter for the diameter. Next, hitting D once more, selecting this edge and our center point, dropping our dimension here, keying in 12, hitting enter. And hitting E for extrude, selecting this profile. And for direction, selecting symmetric. Grabbing our arrow, measurement to be whole length, and for the thickness of this one to be 4. Hitting OK, inspecting, hitting I for measure, selecting this edge and this edge, so confirm it's 4. Hitting close, and finally hitting F to grab our fillet tool. We're going to select this edges and this edge, the radius to be 2. And finally, hit OK. Congratulations for completing our link and see you in the next lesson.